I believe too. And with that, there's only one thing left to say. Let's rev it up! Alright guys, welcome back. Okay, um, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the pictures for the YG Pro 2. Because uh, I think some of you downloaded the, the link after they had to like take it down briefly to separate the images and the game. Because like I think for legal reasons, they had to do it that way. They they could give you the game, but they can't give you the images. So they had to kind of like maneuver their way to give them separately. Uh, for legal legal reasons, of course, copyright, like you, you, you it's like... You can't be, you can't do that. So, um, uh, but yeah, like, it, 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 they still made it pretty simple to do. It's, it's pretty, it's manageable. But for those of you that is a little bit too, too much to handle, uh, hopefully I can help you out and guide you through it. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, so oh, before that, if you already have Wadjo Pro 1, that means you already have the images. So you don't have to re-download them because you, you, you already have them. Okay, so we'll, I'll, I'll, show how, I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so um, if you have, assuming you already have YGO Pro 1, um, let's go, go to the folder, wherever that might be, and you go YGO Pro Percy, right? You double click on it, you go to Picks. And then what you do here is you copy all these. You copy all of them, don't accept these guys. You just copy these, and then you go to the YGO Pro 2, assuming you already have the game. <laughs> you open it up, you go to Picture, and you go to card and you just paste them and that's it it's that easy that's it's pretty simple pretty straightforward and it, you gotta do the field differently okay so ignore the close-up one uh that's for the the pop-up thing that no anyways all uh, right you, you do the field spot because field spot's dif different so you go back go to back to the yg pro percy and you go to picks again and then you go to field this field folder and you're gonna go copy all this and then you're gonna go back to the YG Pro 2, open, open, and you go to picture, and then you go to field, and then you just um, you just paste it, and it's it's that it's that simple. But let's say you don't have the let's say you don't have YG Pro. This is the first time ever you download the game or any of these type of games. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do that now. But uh, there's a video how to download the game itself. Uh, I'll, I'll put a, uh, I'll put a, I'll put it in the annotation so you can check that out if you haven't yet. But uh, let's say you just want to get the pictures. You have everything else but the pictures. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, uh, I have it in one. I have the link in one of my videos. So, um, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, so what you do is you just go down, and then you just um, you go here. You go to this Discord chat uh, link because that's what it is. It's a link to the Discord. So you click on that, and it redirects you. Uh, to Discord, and then you go ahead and uh, accept invite. Keeps guiding you, guiding you, guiding you, and it brings you here. Okay, so what you do now is you go to this pin pin message, and it opens up this little tab, and then this little window, and you ignore the first one. Go to the second one, similar to the first video. If you watched it, thank you. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is you click on this HTTP um, bit dot do like so. It slides you over here, and then um, you could click on this, but um, it just it's just it's simple this way. I think it's simple this way. So, so click on bit.do, and it opens up another tab, and it brings it brings you to here to do list unite. You scroll down, and you see this download thing. You go ahead and click on download, and then, and then it opens up another tab. This is why it can be a little bit confusing, a little bit too much, some for, too much for to handle because there's so much redirecting and go here, go there, go there. So it can be a bit much sometimes. So you wait for it to load and then it, it brings you to the iCloud, like pretty much the online hard drive for people to share stuff. Okay, so you have all these folders, but you're only going to be thinking about two, which is the field spell cards and the TCG OCG proxy. So let's, let's get the field spells out of the way first. So what you do is um you double click it. And it automatically just starts downloading. You you can check out the progress here. You go show me, and then this, this is the progress. And then once it's finished downloading, you go to wherever it's saved, which is assuming it downloads folder. And then you just okay, you go back, and you go back to the other folder, the TCG OCG proxies. Uh, so to go back, you just click on this little folder. It's top left. Can you see? Stop this top left corner thing. Yeah. So you click on that. 
and then um to, it brings you back to the main thing okay so um tcg ocg proxies you click on it you can get other style of pictures but i, I want to keep it basic like Like, like like series nine is just the the old fact it's just what it looks like the card itself like that's that's just what it looks like so you click on series nine and then you um you have two options but uh the only difference is is this is a, a higher quality image compared to this one as you can see is the yeah so it, I, I, I mean depending if if it really bothers you but i think most of you would want a, a better resolution one so go ahead and double click on that and then it starts downloading so you go ahead and check the progress and then once it's done it'll tell you the percentage of how long it's gonna take so it's that simple and then once it's done you go to wherever it's saved and then you go ahead and unzip it because of, uh, you get you're downloading a, a, a raw file so it's it's uh, you, it's zipped so what it means is it, it just takes a bigger file makes it smaller it just makes it easier to download easier to share easier to easier easier, easier to email and it just yeah it just makes it smaller it makes it easier because you can you can just uncomp compress it uncompress it on your on your computer it's pretty it's very simple to do so once it's done loading once it's done downloading okay uh you go ahead and go to wherever it's wherever it was saved assuming downloads and then um you just gonna go ahead and um open up the folder and then uh wherever that might be you uncompress it you open you get all the images inside the folder and then um it's pretty simple to unzip for those okay, all you do is right click it like, like right click and the little, little option windows comes up and there should be one that says seven zip and you just put extract here and it open up oh it will open up the folder there like wherever it's wherever it's safe so I just unzip it it's pretty simple um and then so what you do is um you get the full the images that you downloaded um, there's gonna be two separate ones, so you gotta remember that the field one and the series nine one. So um, you go the series nine is gonna go in the picture, and it's gonna go in the card. So that's for all the playing cards and stuff. So the images for the cards. So, so it goes here, and then the field spell one it's gonna go in the field. Pretty straightforward, yeah. Like I hope this was helpful. Um, oh yeah, and another thing, because I was unaware, I was unaware of this. Um, let me show you what I mean. Because um, in the past I've ha I I've had trouble making videos because I was I would play in Checkmate uh, uh, servers and people would just quit and it'd be it'd, it'd be like ah oh, discouraging to keep on playing because like you weren't on a ranking system so it was like man there's no, there's nothing to strive for but for those of you that don't know that you can play ranked on on YG Pro 2 you can because uh, this is new news to me uh, thank you am anti matter man thank you <laughs> i wasn't aware of the heck okay that's cool so what you do is um you go to online mode and then you put your username and then if you want to be placed in the ranking system you have to put a password so pretty much what that password does it it makes it to where that username is exclusive to you like no one else can get it and um and pretty much put in a password just Put, it, it just inserts you into the ranking ranking chart the ranking system so you can be like strive to get like number one or top 100 or top 10 or uh, yeah so that that was a, a pretty helpful thing to do because people just don't just quit i mean people do but uh. okay so that's pretty much gonna be it i hope this was helpful i hope this was helpful and um if you have any questions just put a comment down below um yeah just give a like if it was helpful that would help a lot and yeah just if you have any questions put the comment down below and i'll try and help you out uh, if i can uh, if i can I'll, I'll try and help but yeah uh, once again thanks anti-meta man for your help this all this info was was really 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 like it it was it was really helpful but that's gonna be it mm, thank you for watching